Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Michael Waybright. And I'm Renee Gonzalez. Today is Wednesday, November 16th, 2011. We hope you all had a great late start, but now it's time for your morning announcements. For all clubs participating in the food fair, remember you must have a poster made to put on your table that includes the name of your club, the item of food you are selling, as well as the price. Your poster must be made by 8 a.m. on Friday morning, and you can find poster paper and paint in the activity room. Additionally, all clubs are in charge of bringing your own utensils and supplies. All JV football players that haven't turned in all or part of their equipment must do so this week to Coach Gomes. It is extremely important that all equipment is returned so you don't end up on the hold list. All seniors, Sober Grad Night Early Bird pricing expires in 29 days on December 15th. Tickets are $80 but will increase to $100. Pay in the student store or the Sober Grad Night mailbox. Along with your purchase of a ticket, you will also receive a complimentary Class of 2012 dog tag. In other senior news, the Sober Grad Night Committee needs volunteers that are seniors to help make their event successful. Contact Mr. Harrigan if you're interested. Today during lunch, we'll be having another lunchtime activity. We will be playing a game that involves whipped cream and bubble gum. The objective will be to sift through the whipped cream to find a piece of gum and blow a bubble using only your mouth. Make sure to participate in games so you can earn class for your spirit points to add to your spirit meter. It's been a little chilly lately, eh, Renee? It has. It's been shivering in my boots lately. <laughs> Let's hand it over to Alexis and Marcella for the whole scoop. Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Alexis Montgomery, and here's your weekend weather. According to usatoday.com, today will be partly cloudy and the average temperature is 54 degrees Fahrenheit, which is what we'd expect for the November average temperature, which is 53 degrees Fahrenheit. The wind speed will be west at 5 miles per hour, and the sunrise will be at 6.48 a.m., and the sunset will be at 4.52 p.m. Now let's move into the weather forecast. According to weather.com, Thursday will be partly cloudy and Friday will have few showers and will be in the mid-60s and mid-50s to mid-40s and low-30s. Then for this weekend, Saturday will be partly cloudy and Sunday will have showers and will be in the mid-50s to mid-30s. I'm Alexis Montgomery. Now to Marcella for some weather news. Hey Wolfpack, I'm Marcella Cabral and here is your weekly weather news. Can the weather affect your mood? Well, according to psychcentral.com, high temperature weather can cause higher mood, better memory, and can broaden your thinking abilities. Seasonal affective disorders, or winter blues, is categorized by the feelings of sadness and depression that occurs in winter months or places with relatively low climates. This form of depression is associated with excessive eating or weight gain. Women are twice more likely to suffer from the winter blues than men. Exercise and eating right can help fight off these feelings. One hour of aerobic exercise is equivalent to two and a half hours of sunlight. Well, that's all for your weather news. I'm Marcella Cabral. Back to you, anchors. Tomorrow is the blood drive. Just a reminder to start drinking lots of non-caffeinated fluids, eat healthy meals, including iron, and get a good night's sleep tonight. An NHS escort will come to get you when it is your turn to donate. If you like the shows Whose Line Is It Anyway or Wild and Out, then you'll love Improv Night. This year's Improv Night is on Friday, December 2nd at 6 p.m. in the Black Box Theater. Auditions for the Improv Troupe are open to all Kasunas Oaks High School students. So if you think you got what it takes, come to auditions after school Monday, November 28th from 3.30 to 6.30. No experience necessary. So Michael, did you go to Peck Savvy this week? No, I couldn't, unfortunately. Well, here's a recap of what you missed. Everybody! Hello, my name is Nick. And I'm Sierra. Oh, wait, no. No, I'm Sierra. And I'm Nick. Welcome to our fourth annual Peck Savvy. Everyone give Peck Savvy a yeah. yeah. Let's go. Let's go. 
Because of all the trouble I see Why it's a losing gamble to me Because every National Honor Society is collecting newspapers, paper grocery bags, old blankets, and towels for the SBCA. Please bring donations to Mr. Garcia's room, HJ7, and today is the last day you'll be able to do so. Have you heard about Unity Day being canceled this month? You can still do your part to save Unity Day by purchasing a bracelet for $2.50 at the food fair. Speaking of the food fair, it will be held in the cafeteria this Friday, November 18th. There will be a large variety of foods such as churros and corn dogs for a dollar, funnel cakes for $3, and round table pizza for $5, and much more. Remember to support WPTV by buying some popcorn for only a dollar. So don't miss out and remember your money on Friday for our first food fair of the year. There will be a dinner drive through fundraiser tomorrow from 5.30 to 7.30. Don't forget to place your order for dinner. $25 feeds a family of four, so come and support Sober Grad Night 2012. We will have a router bus for the football game on Friday night versus Whitney High School. The cost, of the, $12 per, the cost is $12 per person. The trip is limited to the first 54 students to purchase their tickets and return their field trip form, which is available from the activities room window or from the front page of the website. All of us here at WTV, WPTV would like to congratulate our culinary students for an awesome job last night at the Dinner Parkway service. Well, there's the inside scoop, Wolf Pack. I'm Renee Gonzalez. And I'm Michael Waybright. Remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Swag. Swag. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.